Skywatch Media News for June the 24th, 2020. In recent months, the Earth's upper atmosphere has been ablaze with an incredible array of space rocks, some of which have resulted in a sonic-like boom, while a few have actually crashed to Earth in the form of meteorites. On the morning of June 19th, at around 7 a.m. local time, an unidentified object weighing roughly 3 kilograms fell from the sky over the state of Rajasthan, located in northern India, where it impacted the ground. The strange object resulted in a one-foot-deep crater and created an enormous explosive sound that was heard up to two kilometers from the impact perimeter. According to the locals, who were the first ones to inform authorities, an explosive sound was heard when the object fell from the sky. One eyewitness from the village of Sanchor stated the following, I was standing on the balcony of my house when I saw something falling from the sky. The first thought that came to my mind was it being a bomb. Within no time, as it fell on the ground, an explosion-like sound was heard. Most of the people in my colony woke up to this sound, and children were scared. It was reported that the object was said to be emitting heat for several hours after its initial impact. The unidentified object resembling a piece of meteorite was sent to a private lab for testing. The object was confirmed to, to have metallic properties, consisting of cobalt, platinum, nickel, and iron. The space object has been placed in security where a team of geologists are conducting an investigation into its origin. India has experienced a number of meteorite events in recent years. In July of 2019, a suspected meteorite the size of a football plunged into a rice field in the eastern region near Mahadeva. According to the farmers working in the fields, the smoking object fell from the sky, producing a loud noise. Once the smoke had subsided, the farmers pulled the rock from the small crater that measured four foot deep. According to analysts who examined the rock, it had very strong magnetic properties. It had shiny characteristics, and it weighed roughly 33 pounds. In February of this year, a meteorite crashed into a factory compound in Rajasthan's Alwar village. It left a 20-foot deep crater in the compound. The event was captured on video showing the sky lit up as the meteor passed overhead and then pummels into the ground shortly thereafter. Reports indicate a blast was felt as the meteor fell within the industrial compound, with people initially believing it was an earthquake. The chairman of the astronomical organization Space India confirmed that the object was indeed a meteoroid event. Just a few days prior to the blue-tinged meteorite discovery in northern India, a streak of bluish light suddenly flashed across the sky above Western Australia's Pilbara region. The incident shocked skywatchers and completely bewildered the astronomy community. The blue fireball appeared at 1 a.m. local time on June the 15th and was seen across the Northern Territory as well as in South Australia. At first glance, it appears as an orangish-yellow object with a short trail. Within a few seconds, the fireball suddenly turns blue. The sky phenomenon was caught on video by a number of eyewitnesses, showing the fireball moving steadily across the darkened sky.
On June 16th, three very bright meteors illuminated the night sky over Puerto Rico, all of them occurring within a 90-minute time frame. Almost one year ago, on the 22nd of June, 2019, astronomers spotted a car-sized asteroid just hours before it exploded over Puerto Rico. The asteroid, which was 13 feet long, made a spectacular fireball that was equivalent to about 6,000 tons of exploding TNT. This according to the Center for Near-Earth Object Studies, which is run by the Jet Propulsion Lab in Pasadena, California. The asteroid's impact was so powerful, even satellites in orbit spotted it. I recently reported on a barrage of asteroids that will pass relatively close to our planet during the second week of June, in which NASA alerted the public. Since that time, another week has passed, and yet another warning has been issued of impending asteroid activity in the vicinity of Earth. Five more asteroids ranging in size from 100 to 580 feet are set to pass the Earth, three of which were only spotted within the last two months. Two of them have already passed, with the others set to pass on June 24th and 25th. Lucky for us, their distance is far enough from Earth so that we can once again breathe a sigh of relief. But what about those near-Earth objects that pass within just one lunar distance of our planet? Quite often, it is space rocks like this one from 2017 that end up passing under the radar, often without our being aware of their presence. The largest asteroid to approach Earth this year occurred on June the 5th, but it wasn't discovered until two days later on June the 7th which means that it went undetected, which further establishes the need to keep our eyes to the sky. The space rock called 2020 LD measured 400 feet and was traveling at nearly 61,000 miles per hour. It came within 190,000 miles of the Earth. The asteroid is the largest rock to pass between the Earth and the Moon since the year 2011, becoming the 45th asteroid to pass Earth within one lunar distance so far in the year 2020. NASA is obviously worried about these close flybys, so much so that they have launched a spacecraft to study and gather information about a large asteroid called Bennu, which measures 1,640 feet in length. They are concerned that this asteroid, as well as others currently in our solar system, could impact our planet within the next century. That's a long time away, and it seems impractical at this given moment to be overly concerned about a rock that may or may not pose a danger to the Earth in the next 100 years. After all, NASA reiterated the asteroid Bennu most likely will impact Venus rather than the Earth, in which case the concern over its potential danger will have been futile. If for no other reason than to quench our curiosity, the mission to the giant asteroid will provide vital information on how to deflect asteroids from a life-threatening collision course with our planet. But in the meantime, it's important to keep our eyes squarely focused on the sky. On June 21st, our sun and the moon converged in a dazzling ring of fire solar eclipse. The spectacle was seen across parts of Africa and Asia. If you happen to have missed the streaming coverage of the dramatic event, here is a composite of the eclipse as it unfolded in the sky. Stay safe, and thanks for watching.